inside this building at the New York City Fire Department's Training Academy. A first-hand look at the jaw-dropping risks associated with a popular product. We're going to burn this bike inside a building. And we, we got an exclusive demonstration of how e-bikes and e-scooters powered by lithium-ion batteries can become infernos in seconds. So this holiday season, the Fire Safety Research Institute is teaming up with the FDNY to show just how dangerous they can be. These batteries can blow up when they're being charged. They can blow up when they're not being charged. They are a ticking time bomb. This bike could be in any New York City apartment. Now, we have to leave the building, not just because of the explosiveness of the fire, but the toxicity of the smoke. We got to go. In just minutes, it started smoldering. Then up next, a smaller e-scooter. OK, so you're seeing smoke coming out of the batteries. But it's going to go very quick. So it's Steve really Kerber fast. leads a fire safety fire. research team Even and studies the how these batteries can like fail. This. If they're abused, they can fail. If they get punctured, they can fail. Overcharging, overheating, even a manufacturing defect could cause it to fail. This bike took out an entire New York City block. It did. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Daniel Flynn is New York City's chief fire marshal. This thing is a tremendous fire from its onset, and it's impossible to escape. He says the thermal runaway reaction, where batteries ignite and cause other batteries to ignite, is uniquely dangerous. When it fails, it releases all that energy all at once. Nationally, 40 deaths were reported from lithium-ion battery fires in e-scooters and e-bikes between 2017 and 2023. And while the risk may not be as serious, these batteries are now in many different products. Everything from your toothbrush to your laptop to your ear pods to scooters to electric vehicles. A common mistake, fire experts say, is charging a battery with a mismatched charger. The basic rule of thumb, only buy UL certified products, don't leave them unattended, and for bikes and scooters, charge them outside. They are uh, a risk, and we're asking the public to be aware of it. An urgent message during the season of giving. Sam Brock, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.